Yeah, it's a uh, it's an interesting world that uh, our physical bodies are on right now. You know, this rock spinning through space, and uh, truth is a real tough nut to crack for a lot of humans. For some reason, the conditioned mind and the lack of spiritual development in a lot of beings here uh, keeps blocks them from understanding truth and keeps them on the karmatic suffering wheel. And so all of you guys that are waking up, you're the spiritual ones. You're the higher beings that are brought to the planet to help it. Or you wouldn't even pay one bit of attention to this. So those that want to help themselves, those that want to uh, make it better for themselves, those are all the higher beings. You look at the planet and what's going on, you can really see the different levels of consciousness or understanding within the human race. And it's, uh, it's never been seen like that before. It's so exposed now. that we got people like William Shatner going, they're among us. Why don't they just make themselves known and stop all this craziness, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> um so is that is that like a comfort zone that people are in where they 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 don't um it's more convenient or it's more comfortable not to embrace some of this truth well, i would think that that's certainly part of it of course you know you get in your comfort zones but at the same time it also represents your level of or lack of spirituality in other words care for the self most people's attention is outwardly focused so the female is probably the more inner focused of the two uh, male and females. But males typically don't listen inside. You know, I found myself at Home Depot before. I didn't even comb my hair in the morning. I just, you know, go, 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 go. So typically uh, humans are outer focused. And so when you're starting to focus inwardly, starting to listen inwardly, starting to look inwardly, there's worlds upon worlds upon worlds. They used an old saying, you have to go in to get out. Okay, okay. So so do you think that for someone who is um, is maybe not, they're resisting some of this truth or they're, like you're saying, it's a tough enough for them to crack. Do you think that they have like a little a little voice inside of them that's that's calling and saying hey you know here's some truth over here but what what are they what are they doing what are they experiencing when they hear do they hear something like that and they just ignore it or some and some are just not at the level of maturation for this you have to understand that i hate to even say it's like a school because the all has created the all so there, there's nothing to learn, but yet there's everything to learn. You know, when you, you realize everything is the one and that consciousness is not dualistic and that creation is dualistic for what purpose? Why is form so important to consciousness? And that you would have to be into that state to understand that. But it's like the playground of God the creation where we have forms and forms interact with each other and eat each other and whatever, you know, <laughs> that's creation. That's duality. And you have the positive and the negative. And there seems to be a growth pattern in consciousness uh, for those people. The, the, little, the little voice within is you. There is no higher self. You are your higher self. But you play that role of duality where you're in the little self you're in the little physical body looking up to god and i've always said turn it around turn this whole consciousness around be conscious and then work with the little self in other words work from god's state down into the into the lower worlds instead of being the little self looking oh i must have a higher self and i'm just a little uh a little being that can't do anything Switch your consciousness around and you'll find that you are the being from all things. You and everything else come from the same source and you're just playing with these little bodies. You know that old saying, am I, is this a, am I a spiritual being having a physical experience or am I a physical being having a spiritual experience? And of course, you're a spiritual being having a physical experience. That's all it is. And then when you lay that physical body aside, who are you now? And then when you lay that body aside, who are you now? So it's learning. That's the other fun part of this whole journey is not just fruit and getting healthy and having energy that you can't stop and, you know, not having any pain and healing the next day and all kinds of great stuff like that. 
but also the journey that you can go on that's far beyond this world and into the allness of all things. That that's where that's where things really kick up for you. 